Hey everybody and welcome back to the Motor One channel where today I'll be taking you on a full tour of the 2022 Ford Maverick Hybrid XLT. I'm gonna walk you all around the exterior, show you all the special details, especially in the bed, because this truck has a lot of different tricks. Walk you through the interior, and as always, I'm gonna tell you everything I love and a few things that I wish were different as well. So let's get started. One of the most highly anticipated cars of the entire year, and I'm at the end of my review period with it. I've had this truck for a week now, and in the process, I've put on almost 600 miles. I've driven this thing all over Southern California, really trying to live with it every day to see what it's like. Um, and I can tell you right now, this absolutely lives up to the hype. What a special truck, and I think it's gonna be a great solution for a lot of people. We did shoot a full review of the Maverick Hybrid that'll be publishing soon on the Motor One channel. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe so you don't miss that or any of the weekly review content that we're putting up. If you have a car that you'd like to see in particular, just let us know, drop it in the comments, or you can reach out to us on social media using the handle at motor one Let's talk about this truck though. Really neat spec here. It's in the Area 51 paint. Uh, we've seen that on Bronco Sport. We've seen that on Big Bronco. And just like those two, the Maverick wears it so well. It's such an interesting color, a nice bluish gray finish. Um, the face of the Maverick, the styling here is just really nice and in the middle. And I don't mean that as a bad thing. It's just not a polarizing truck. I haven't heard anybody say it is awful, abysmal, the worst looking thing ever, and I haven't heard anybody say it's the greatest looking truck on the road either. Uh, but the styling cues here just pleased the masses. They did a great job to make it very approachable and kind of happy looking, honestly, from the front. Lighting signature is something you can get used to because we will start to see it on more Ford truck products. The Global Ranger, for example, which is coming to the US eventually, kind of adopts a similar look inspired by the Maverick. Little side profile action. It's just under 200 inches long. So it's not totally, totally tiny, um, but it's certainly one of the smallest pickups on the road today. And that makes it very easy to drive in the city. It's something we focused on in our review. Parking this thing is a breeze. Even parallel parking is just not a problem. It just makes it really approachable and easy to drive on a daily basis. XLT spec comes with 17 inch wheels. I've seen a Maverick on base steelies and I've seen a Maverick on bigger wheels in the Lariat trim. These ones are great. Um, super simple design, very easy to keep clean, which I like. And in this case, you get a lot of sidewall going on with the tire on the 17 inch wheel. One XLT badge on the side, pretty straightforward. And then like with a lot of Ford cars, you get the keypad, which I always think is super useful. So you can you know, leave your key in the car, go on a run or whatever, and come back in and let yourself in. Let's talk about the bed, for example, because this one has the luxury package, which I think is a funny name. It costs $2,500, but you get a lot of options on the truck. And of those options, some of them are in the bed. Not a damped tailgate, which I guess, you know, you shouldn't expect that for this kind of money. Uh, but nevertheless, it does have a bed liner, which makes it a little bit more durable. You can scratch it up a bit more and not have to worry about it. And then my favorite feature is the 400 watt plug. So you can see it works just like this. You know, you can plug things in. Not everything is gonna work on this, um, but if you had a tailgate, I can tell you personally that a blender does work. Plug it right in, make a margarita. This also has bed lighting that comes with it, so at night it's gonna be easier to see. This one also has the sliding tie-down rails, which I think are an awesome feature. The cool thing is Ford actually has um, plans to show you online, so where if you don't spec the truck with this, you can put your own in too. It's just really versatile and the mounting points are easy to fix your own if you don't spec the truck with it. They also have the conductors already installed so you can do your own bed lighting that works underneath uh, the sides. Super cool solution and it makes the bed a lot more versatile. I don't think I've said it yet. It's a four and a half foot bed and it can do 1500 pounds of payload. Luxury package also means you get a trailer hitch 
This truck right now will do 2,000 pounds of towing capacity. If you get the optional four cylinder and all wheel drive, that bumps up to 4,000 pounds. So somebody who needs to tow on a regular basis, that might kick you out of the hybrid. But for most people, 2,000 pounds uh, is enough to work in a pinch, though obviously you have a big boat, something like that, probably not gonna work. Let's pop the hood real quick before we check out the interior. Two pulls to get under the hood. It's gonna be a little tricky because I have to hold it up myself. Let's see how I do. Sorry for the shakiness. Underhood is a 2.5 liter hybrid four cylinder. Uh, it does 191 horsepower and I believe 155 pound feet of torque. This one does have a CVT, so if you want a quote unquote real transmission, the eight speed, you're also gonna wanna option that other engine. But this is the standard setup in the Maverick. You can see all the orange wiring too because of the hybridization. It's nicely packaged. I mean, it's not completely sandwiched in here. You can see there's a bit of room behind the engine block. This one doesn't come with an engine cover, which I think is a little funny. Um, you know, some people don't like engine covers and other people think it looks kind of bad without it. It doesn't really matter all that much, huh? All right, let's hop inside. That's probably not gonna stop because I have the key in the ignition. Let's turn it on, maybe get some air conditioning anyway. This is called Navy Pier, which is a really fun interior scheme and I really appreciate that it's not just tied to the Lariat. This is XLT, it's a middle spec, but you can still make your interior fun. And we need more fun interiors in the world. This is blue and it has some cool white accenting here in the door panel and little touches of orange too, which I think is a really just neat contrast. Um, the theme of this interior is you can get it dirty and not really have to worry about it. We have uh, rubber floor mats. Obviously you can just yank those out, kick them around and then spray them down. Uh, you can see ours are still dirty because we took this to the beach for a photo shoot, but it gives you an example of just how easy it will be to keep this interior clean. I think the same can be said of these seats. The material on them is just really durable. Uh, it's this nice cloth that almost looks like denim from far away when you get this nice orange stitching that goes with it. Let's hop inside because it is surprisingly hot for a February day in California. 82 degrees. We film no matter what. Let's go to the wide angle lens so you can see a little bit more. More orange in the center console, which I think is really fun. This is cool. This pops out. So you know you can get it dirty, no problem, spray it down. It's just rubber. And then pop it back in. And there's a little stand here for your phone to go upright. Really creative, I like that. Also like, there's a USB-A and a USB-C port. I think more cars on the road should have that right now because everybody's got a different cord with a different smartphone. This has heated seats, a heated steering wheel too, optional with that luxury package. And then some orange on uh, the air vents too. Sorry, I just had to turn the truck all the way on so I stopped sweating. <laughs> Infotainment screen here, not too much to go over, but that's not a bad thing. It's really easy to work with, very straightforward technology here. Um, you're gonna wanna use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto is the best answer I have for you. There's just not a lot of native content. There's not a native navigation system, at least with this, but I have no problem with that. Only problem I do have is that it's not a wireless connection. You do have to use a physical cord, but then that's not too much of an issue. It keeps your phone charged while you're on your way to work. And you get this cool little storage area that's right next to the screen here. I don't really know what you wanna use it for. Somebody on Twitter put a taco in there. That so far is the best use case I've seen for it. Very uh, decluttered area here, nicely laid out, just makes a lot of sense to interact with. And you get a little bit of storage right above. Steering wheel buttons, this one is leather wrapped which is a nice feature as well. And like I already said, it's heated, which is a bonus feature for sure. This truck does not have adaptive cruise control, it just has traditional cruise control, which does work, um, but you have to bump up to the Lariat uh, to get that adaptive cruise, which of course is a feature that most people want. We have 
the Ford shifter in here. Park, reverse, neutral, drive. Um, once you get used to it, I think you end up spinning it faster than you probably should, but it does do a good job of keeping up with you. We have uh, an electronic parking brake here, driving modes. Believe it or not, there is a sport mode on here. So you get normal, towing, slippery, eco, and sport. But for the most part, I've just kept it in normal. I think that's the easiest way to drive the truck. There's a traction control off button. I don't know what tomfoolery you people are getting into with your front wheel drive Maverick. Should you choose to do so, traction control off right there. Uh, and then uh, auto hold at uh, stoplights, which is a neat feature too. Good little interior on this truck. I really do enjoy it. Hopefully you can get the full view of what it looks like as the driver here. Back seat. Same color scheme, of course. Same door panel, so you can see what that looks like. Actually, not as cramped as you might think. I am not a tall individual. I'm five foot eight, and this is me sitting behind myself. Not terrible. Uh, I wouldn't be complaining for a few hours on a road trip for sure. Only issue is that there's no air conditioning vents back here, which, you know, that could be a problem for most people who just want a little bit of air household outlet it comes with the one we showed you in the bed those are both part of the luxury package which if i haven't already said it already uh 2500 for that package well worth it for what you get usb a and usb c and i think that's a little coin holder why not lastly some cup holders that fold down with an armrest storage over here only on the passenger side you don't get it behind the driver's side for some reason and then there's sort of creative storage uh, for water bottles and door panels too. So you can fit lots of water bottles for everybody. If you're going hiking for the weekend, something like that, everybody can stay nice and hydrated. There's a better view of the interior for you. Let's see what that looks like. No sunroof in this model, but you, we do get the optional manual sliding window to give you a little bit of extra airflow in the cab manual but uh, it does make sense it's a nice little extra feature and then speakers right behind you as rear seat passengers there's your tour of the 2022 ford maverick hybrid xlt pricing on this thing is really just stellar uh, this truck is $22,280. The one we have with the luxury package and Copilot 360 and the destination charge is just under $27,000. You get a lot of truck for that money. Uh, and in this case, because it's the hybrid, a lot of efficiency to go with that. There you go. 2022 Ford Maverick Hybrid XLT. Thanks for watching.